first nurse who's got her head stuck so far up her ass that she can't hear what someone's saying to her. I'll take care of it off base. My name is Jennifer Beals, and I play Major Joe Stone in Lauren. I was excited to continue the story, you know, because of the nature of the series. It is a serial, so it's fun to um, be able to pick up where you left off, especially since it was such a cliffhanger at the end there. I have a cousin who went to my fancy law school and is now an editor at the Huffington Post. We email him this video and tell him the army is going to bury it. But you have to be ready for what would be coming at you. It would be war. And it's been a real pleasure uh, working with Troyan again. She's so committed to the character and so committed to the work and extremely professional and lovely. And I'm just, I feel really, really lucky to have her as my scene partner. These girls are badass. Yes, they are. All right, they are badass and they're good actors and they're good people. We're having a good time. I've never worked with John as a director. You know, we've been friends for a really long time and we've talked about projects in the past, but we've never worked together and it's really been such a pleasure. He knows exactly what to say and he knows when to leave you alone and he knows when to to get you back on track. But Jennifer Beals is a friend, first of all, uh, and she's somebody who I've known for a long time. I produced the movie she was in and uh, she's somebody who I admire quite a bit. Good actors will take almost any direction. Great actors will take direction and do stuff that you just can't believe. So I walked into this bar, and before I know it, my commanding officer had pushed me down from behind. You know, because the story, in this case, some of her story is quite personal, quite intimate, I knew it was gonna be a little bit more demanding on a personal level or a professional level, or emotional level, uh, than some of the stuff that she had done the year before. And I was pretty sure she would uh, be more than up for the task, and she was. I do feel a commitment to trying to get it right. Well, a lot of girls try to sleep with their commanding officers right here. That is not what happened. This character is really kind of on the cusp of two different generations, really, where she's had to come up with the guys and with a very old school way of thinking, but she's had the good fortune to stay in the army as long as it has taken to legislate women being allowed to be in combat. My superior officer says, let's go down and take a look at it, I go. And I think she's of two minds and it's very, very hard for her to uh, be within the power structure and behave in the way in which she thinks she needs to maintain her authority and yet stay true to what she believes in deep in her heart. Do you need me to repeat the question, Special Stone? Can I have the tape? With Major Stone this season, you can look forward to seeing a different side of her. You know, we know that she's a tough ass. We know that she's certainly got one foot in really old school thinking and uh, she feels like she has to be a total badass in order to wield any kind of authority. Uh, but then in this season, you get to see her trying to work the system to help Lauren.